What's up, guys? Shannon McGuire, Push 511. This is lesson plan number five, um, coach development homework, which is lesson plan number two. And what I've chosen is our option for um, a two-part workout, which is going to be our strength into a benchmark, which is Jackie. So we've got a three by 10 back squat into a workout that is for time with a thousand meter row, 50 thrusters and 30 pull-ups. Um, so what I've got going on for my timeline here is starting here, we've got our whiteboard brief real quick, give the nuts and bolts of the workout, then take our class through some glute and hip activation because we're going to be back squatting first. So that might include some banded glute bridges, some 90-90 hip shifts, uh, maybe some banded side steps, and um, just kind of getting the hips and the glutes primed for some squatting. Uh, then go into a squat specific warm up and actually physically taking our class through a group warm up where I'm calling out reps. We're going to discuss safety when it comes to back squatting. Um, we're going to talk about unracking, re racking, um, but also obviously cover the movement and make sure people are moving well and calling out our squats and moving as a class and holding people in positions as well. This is the opportunity to do our static and our dynamic um, cues and getting eyes on our athletes. So this is our squat specific warm up. Um, give athletes a couple minutes to build in here towards the end of that seven to 15 minutes. And then from 15 to 30 is when we're actually, hey guys, clock is on and clock is counting down. When that clock hits zero, we're gonna go ahead and get those bars uh, stripped for our workout today. So that back squat three by 10 is gonna take place in these 15 minutes, making sure athletes are resting two to three minutes in between those sets of 10 today in their working sets. We get to 30 minutes, we've got wad prep, which is going to, it's 10 minutes, it's gonna include, we're going over the movements, we're discussing the standards and taking people through a warm up for each movement. So we're gonna discuss rowing technique, we're gonna maybe get people to piece, put the pieces of the puzzle together, maybe we do arms only, legs only, and then we kind of tie it all together into 50 thrusters with the empty bar. We're nice and warm. Our legs are warm from our back squat, um, but we do need to maybe take people through some elbow rotations. Let's get those elbows good for that front rack position. We'll build. So we'll start with that front squat, then we'll break it into a push press, and then we'll tie the whole thing together. Again, going through that movement as a class, calling out reps, commanding the room. 30 pull-ups. We might start with scat pull-ups, some bar kips, and then building from strict pull-ups all the way up to our kipping, whether that's gymnastics kip or butterfly kip, and making sure people are primed, ready to go, and that people understand the stimulus of the workout, which they should because we discussed it at the whiteboard at the beginning of class. Um, putting a 14 minute time cap on Jackie. Our faster athletes are gonna be sub nine. That's gonna be our target today. Um, someone who maybe struggles on the rower, maybe we are not putting together big sets of thrusters with that empty bar and pull-ups might be challenging for us on the higher end we're looking at around like 12 minutes, but we'll give them those two minutes just in case we miss the mark. Um, so we've got our wad prep here. Again, that also includes our bathroom break. We've got our workout between 40 minutes and 54 minutes where people are actually completing it. If we don't go up to that 14 minute time cap, we're good to go. We'll go ahead and uh, start cooling down. But our cool down is from 54 to 60. Maybe we hop on a bike, some legs only, some arms only, nasal breathing, get people to bring that heart rate back down. And then we'll bring everybody back together to stretch, targeting the glutes, the legs, and the lats, um, and a little bit of hamstring as well, time permitting. That is my lesson plan for this workout. Thanks.